fishing, it's fine, but hooking is the only way. We're going to show you how to catch some fish today. We're getting into the four series and it's actually cleaning and cooking. So I'm taking you into my kitchen, showing you how to flay them correctly and then how to fry them. My grandkids love it. They can't wait. They always call grandpa want to know when I'm cooking fish. Please go to like when you're done and click like. Okay, I'm going to show you guys how to clean a crappie fast. So basically I don't even scale it. I just rinse it down a little bit. I'm going to go right behind the gill plate. See this gill plate? I'm going to go right behind it, poke the tip of the knife in, fall it down, hit their backbone nut. And you notice, look how far I got it in, maybe a half an inch. And I'm going to fall right on top of the backbone here. Continue down all the way to the tail, right there. And this right here, where this fin is right here, this is going to be my target point where to hit. You'll see what I mean in a minute. So then I take the tip and I just run it across the back and you can hear it clicking on the bone. Hear it? So I click it on the bone and then right here at that point, I'm going to go through, poke it through, see where the knife came out. And then I'm going to slice down about almost to cutting through up here cut on top and once I get it going up over the rib cage then I take the fish target that spot right there flip it over take it knife grab this right on the skin and just fillet it down like that and you get your perfect fillet then I usually take this and I'll cut it off because it gets slippery and turn it over remember right behind the gill plate just poke the tip in come down to the back cut right on down to the end you can hear it clicking that's the hitting the ribs poke it through right here there and just right above the skin so you're gonna have no meat on the skin here and all the meat on the fish and that's how easy it is to fly it's very important that you use a very sharp knife and thin and skinny blade these are Dexter's. A lot of the commercial fishermen use them. They're very good, they're durable. But you want something that flex like this and with a narrow tip and really sharp. And then you can really get in there real easy because as you can see, see there's no meat left on here. It's all gone. And this is the meat on there. And you want a thin blade, flexible, and Dexter makes one of the best ones. You could also go click on the link and, and go to the description box below and you'll see everything about where to get one. Okay, on these fillets, right here, you see this You see this line right here? There's a rib bone there. So you gotta, if you don't want any bones in it, I go right there, cut down, you'll feel it. Cut down, and then I slice that rib cage off. So then you're gonna have a piece just like that. Perfect. We flayed a fish. I got them all washed down, all trimmed up. Just showed you how, where to get that bone off. Then you're going to want to pat them dry. And then we're just going to let them sit for a couple seconds. Okay, now that we're ready to cook them, so um, I'm going to show you some of the stuff I use. I use seasonal. Use garlic. You could use garlic powder or, or salt. Black pepper. And I use a light soy. This is one of the best ones. Um, you can find it at Rayleigh. It's a superior light soy sauce. It's excellent. 
And I think this is probably one of the most crucial. This is a Korean flour, and you only can find it in Korean grocery stores. And it has a little bit more um, cornstarch in it in the mix, so it's gonna come out a lot crispier. And then, good old panko. And I'm gonna show you how I put it all together. So after I got my fish ready to season, I don't, if you were to ask me, hey, what kind of measurements do you use? I can't tell you. I just season it. Um, I've done it so much. Um, and I'll give you a little general idea. This is just four pieces of filet. I'm gonna take the light soy and just put a little in there like that and then mix it. And then what I want the, the fish to do is turn a little bit brown color. You can see like here it's kind of white and then it's browned over here. So I just mix it around. You don't want to put a whole bunch. You just put enough just so it turns brown. And start with a little bit and then just add more as you, uh, you look at the fish and how it's turning color. And then I'm going to take this little season on and just sprinkle just lightly over the fish. Pepper. And garlic. And then just give it a little mix. Okay. So like as much as up to, like I have four pieces, probably to maybe six or eight, you can just use one egg. If you don't like the yolk, you could leave it in. So I crack it like that. You just drop the, the white in it. You can use the yolk I'm not saying you don't have to, but a lot of times I do, depends on how much fish. But if I only do a little bit like this, I'll just use the white. Then I'm gonna take it, mix it in. And what that does, is gonna make the flour stick to it. So get it all mixed like that. Then I'm gonna take Korean flour, sprinkle, so it was for like four pieces like that, I'm gonna put probably about like that. Okay, this is the panko. And I'm gonna probably put about maybe two to one. So I'm gonna put two times the amount panko. Put that like that. Make sure your hands are dry and then what I do is I crush it. So I'm smashing it up. So it mixes with the flour. And you can feel it. So I, what I do is I feel and it, if I feel like it's too much uh, panko, I can feel it real abrasive. Then I'll just grab a little more flour and pull it in. So just like that. And then I'm gonna take my fillets, put it on here and just tap it, pat it. So you want to get it, the whole thing covered. Okay, now we're ready to cook the crappie. So I'm gonna show you just basically, I mixed up the recipe, showed you how to put the flour on and what I use. And then when I go to fry them, I'm gonna use a cast iron skillet. I like them when they have ridges, but you can also use a flat one or electric skillet. So if I'm doing a lot, you wanna put on an electric skillet and I put it at 375. Temperature 375 when you're actually frying. This one on here, everybody's this is a gas one, 
stove, uh, electric stoves are a little bit different. Um, one of my friends, when he does it, he puts throws a match in there and when it lights, then he knows it's red. I just go by looking at it and then I put a little bit in there and I see if it starts cooking. So we're gonna use grapeseed oil because it runs on a high temperature. You can use vegetable oil. You know, I use Weston. If I can't get any, I use um, olive oil. But you can look at oils and see how they do with certain temperature. So this one here, I'm just gonna put a thin layer in here. I have the skillet on medium. I did a um, class in my Sacramento store on walks and the same thing for skillet. So if you have a new skillet, cast iron or a wok, you want to get it super hot, take some pork fat and then just keep moving around till you burn the heck out of it. And then that's what they call curing it. So as you see, when you look at this, see how black it is? And my woks are all black because they've been cured and it tastes so much better. So this one, I'm gonna put, it's got gas, so I'm gonna put it on medium high. You can see the flames. And I'm gonna let it heat up. So when I'm cooking little amounts, I'd rather use a skillet. But when I'm cooking for the family, my grandkids just love this stuff. And I use a skillet because I'm cooking sometimes like 40 or 50 pieces. So then, as you saw earlier, I breaded it and I showed you what kind of flour I'm using. So I just take a piece like this and I throw it in and I look at it. And I want to make sure that it's not quite ready. It's getting there. So it's starting to smoke a little bit. So I'm going to start putting my fillets in. It doesn't take too long. Probably about maybe three or four minutes on each side. So basically when I first put them in, I just watch around the edges here. You see the edges? You're gonna see it, it'll start turning like brown color, then I'll flip them. So look on the edge. You see how this is brown right here? You see the light brown color halfway up? Now I'm gonna turn it over. But you want them like golden brown, like this on both sides, and they're done. And nowadays, a lot of people don't like to use salt. And then once in a while, if I do put it on, I use sea salt. It's supposed to be a little bit better for you. Here we go. Coffee already. Yummy. Enjoy. <laughs> Thank you for watching segment four, which was cleaning and cooking crappie. I showed you all the ingredients that I personally use. My grandkids always ask me, Grandpa, when are you going to cook crappie or cook fish in general? I showed you how to fry it. It's very good. And when you're done doing this, hit the like and subscribe to my channel. It would really help me. Um, help my channel get along and when you subscribe it doesn't cost you a dime it just lets you know what comes out the next week fishing it's fine but hooking is the only way we're gonna show you how to catch some fish today